Friends and family invited to the private funeral at Snow's Memorial Chapel began arriving around noon today. Many of those people who went inside the chapel knew Almond for decades and played significant roles in the 69-year-old singer's life. A hot June day, family and friends of Greg Allman tried to stay tucked in the shade of Snow's Memorial Chapel on Cherry Street until the service began at 1 o'clock. His immediate family arrived first, including two of Allman's five children, daughter Layla and son Michael. The others are son Devin, son Elijah Blue from his marriage to Cher, and daughter Delilah. Close friend and drummer for the band, Chank Middleton, also arrived early, along with Mama Louise Hudson, the woman behind the home-cooked meals the Almond Brothers grew to love from the H&H &H restaurant on Cotton Avenue. Other celebrities came to pay their respects, including Rose Lane Lavelle, wife of Chuck Lavelle, who couldn't come to the funeral because he's currently working in London. Perhaps the most famous to attend, Almond's ex-wife Cher. She came in a private car to the service. The funeral lasted about 45 minutes before the crowd left Snows for Rose Hill Cemetery and the burial. There to support them along the way were fans from near and far. The fast-moving procession that took only a few minutes traveled past the fans, gathered to show the family just how much they appreciated Almond and his music as he was laid to rest. As the family arrived, fans flooded into the cemetery to witness the burial. The family said that was okay with them as long as they stayed at a respectful distance. As bagpipes played, the family took their seats at the graveside with close friends following behind. Cher also joined Almond's family, as did the original Almond Brothers band drummer J Mo. A preacher gave the final service as fans looked on and listened from the hill. Greg Almond was laid to rest near his brother Dwayne and former bandmate Barry Oakley inside the historic gates of Rose Hill Cemetery.